This morning, a community in shock in Buffalo, New York. When I first saw him shooting, he shot a woman, he shot a deacon, he shot another woman, and then he went in the store and started shooting again. Ten people shot dead and three more injured after a gunman opened fire at a Topps friendly supermarket in a predominantly black neighborhood. This is the worst nightmare that any community can face. One gun, one gun secure, one in suspect is in custody. The suspect, identified as 18-year-old Peyton Gendron, has been arraigned on one count of first-degree murder and held without bail. Authorities say he drove there from 200 miles away and live-streamed the attack that is now being investigated as a hate crime. This was pure evil. It was straight-up, racially motivated hate crime from somebody outside of our community. Police say around 2.30 Saturday afternoon, the suspect wearing body armor and a tactical helmet first fired at four people in the parking lot, killing three. We're going to need some officers inside the top because we have numerous bodies. The shooter then entered the grocery store, shooting nine others, including a retired Buffalo police officer who confronted him. The guard fired multiple shots that hit the suspect, but that didn't stop him. He was wearing protective tactical gear. The heavily armed gunman fatally shooting the guard moments later. I still don't even believe it happened, actually, that a person would go into a supermarket full of people. Police arriving at the chaotic scene, taking the alleged shooter into custody. There were people showing up, asking about their loved ones. Among the victims, four of them store employees. My granddaughter works there. She heard the shooting, so she took herself and ran in the bathroom and locked the door. I frequent this store all the time. I've never been afraid to be here. I am now. I am now. This is something that I watch on the news that happens in other places. Right. A witness describes the motionless bodies on the ground. I saw the police cover her and then they cover somebody that was behind her and um i realized at the time that the, those were dead bodies new york governor kathy hochel calling attention to reports the suspect had a camera and was live streaming the shooting condemning social media platforms that she said were not censoring hateful and violent content i'm asking them to take responsibility for monitoring the hate speech and the calculated plans that are right there in plain view. Help work with us with your responsibility as the individuals who profit from these platforms. The NAACP making a statement saying hate and racism have no place in America.